there's so much water out there that's just breeding mosquitoes like crazy. So we're out here today showing how we're picking up our traps that we set for mosquitoes. Right now we're setting eight, 818 traps a week between 25 inspectors. So the inspectors usually they'll set it out uh, sometime after 10 o'clock in the morning. They'll let it sit throughout the day overnight. Pick the trap up in the morning, they, they put it on their truck, it sits in dry ice to keep, uh, if there's any virus in the mosquitoes, keep, them, keep the virus cold. Close it up. So when those traps are picked up, we have to go through each one of those traps. We open it up, we record it in our database. Uh, we have to identify the species, we have to separate the males from the females. And again, depending on the type of mosquito species, we either will test them for the virus. These were tested for West Nile virus and St. Louis encephalitis. It found five um, different locations of uh, St. Louis encephalitis, so that adds to our uh, total number. The symptoms are similar to West Nile virus. Um, you can have flu-like symptoms, or you could have no symptoms at all. You could even die from it. And we're just trying to get the message, look folks, you got to protect yourself. You got to wear long sleeve shirts and pants. Get out there and wear the mosquito repellent. Try to limit your activity when the mosquitoes aren't flying around. Minimize your water usage. No green pools, yeah. Green pools can produce a lot, especially these mosquitoes. And that, that's the, what we're seeing right now is the St. Louis encephalitis. So if you have you know, an area and you take care of your area, you're going to do a much better job of protecting yourself than what we can do with, with you know, our huge county and our limited resources.